The sheer breadth and scale of the lands between never ceases to astonish and enthrall Elden Ring. From enormous serpents to massive dragons, FromSoftware continues to demonstrate why boss fights are their forte. You may have seen the game's constant stream of pair monsters, but what about the trio bosses that await you? Yes, the horror isn't finished yet. The poor Tarnished must now fight three enemies at once, all while attempting to stay alive while being attacked from all sides. When you're exploring Spear Collar's cave in the mountaintops of the giants, beating opponents left and right to reach the boss arena, the sight of the Godskin Apostle at the end is probably indifferent. You've already met the latter boss several times in Windmill Village and Crumbling Fair Mazala at this point. You do a typical bop and weave to dodge its black flame assaults and lunging lunges with its curved bladed spear. When you kill the Apostle, you expect to see the words enemy felled on the screen, but instead you get another long health bar. When you're playing a Soulsborne game, things rarely go your way, and here is just another example. The Godskin Noble appears, all flabby and flappy, poking you with its rapier and rolling around like a slab of dough, delivering massive damage in one roll. As it conducts a series of thrusts with its rapier, expect the customary massive shockwaves and black flame missiles, reminding you why you despise confronting this boss. Unfortunately, there is a third and final monster, the Spirit Color Snail, who is reasonably easy to defeat, but more difficult to locate. You'll normally find it in an area with a white light, so just deal a short succession of hits before it vanishes. At the very least, you will never have to return to Spear Color's cave once the game is over. The entrance to Sully Hideaway, a wall hidden crystal cave in the Caled region, is actually an illusion wall against a cliff face near the Church of Plague Side of Grace. It's only fitting that such a challenging territory be paired with an equally demanding trio of bosses. Crystallians are notorious for their tough armor, which must be worn down over time in order to deal harm. The arcane staff is wielded by one Crystallian, while the ring blade and spear are wielded by the other two. Worse, they all have the ability to deliver Scarlet Rot damage, so make sure to have plenty of preserving boluses on hand to counteract the latter. With three armored bosses to keep an eye on at once, it's best to start with the Crystallian who wields a staff. The ability of this Crystallian to do range damage by scattering many pieces of crystal across the floor will make dealing with melee fighters extremely difficult. If you're a sorcerer, repeating Rock Sling is your best bet because you want to deal as much physical damage as possible. For melee players, a few smashes and wide swings with a greatsword, as well as leaping your heavy assaults, are likely to break their armor more quickly. You can also use Ashes of War like Horfer's Stomp or Prowler's Charge, which deal white arrow strikes. One thing is certain. These three bosses are the epitome of annoyance. As you might expect, this is all part of Fia's questline you know, the lovely lady who greets you with warm hugs at round table hold. You'll first have to deal with lone hostile NPCs like Sorcerer Rogier and Fia's champion in deeper depths, before three of them decide to come up for a repeat performance. The first two are easy to deal with, but when you're up against two of Fia's champions and Lionel the Lionhearted, you might need to use your legendary Spirit Ash summons to even the odds. Surprisingly, the appearance of the two Fia's champions might differ from player to player, thus you could obtain a Samurai or a Prisoner build. Remember that one of them is an arcane fighter who specializes in glintstone strikes. Lionel and Rogier, on the other hand, will remain the same. Because Lionel wields a rapier, be wary of the succession of pokes he makes. With a wave of his staff, he can summon golden wraiths or black trail of skulls to pursue you. If you thought this trio's fight is difficult, wait till you enter the deathbed dream. 